stars of tomorrow get their shot in the limelight today as the show's coverage of the Southern League is on the air. Ought to be a good one here between the Chattanooga Lookouts and the Birmingham Barons. And before we close in on first pitch, a look at the starting lineups here for the finale. And then briefly, let's take a look at the two starting pitchers who get the assignment here. Frankie Dawson will dig in now. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. Frankie Dawson. Now the first pitch, grounded fouled off to the right side. Runners on first with one down. He's ready now, the pitch. And a fastball, mm, just misses, it's one and one. Eric, you take a look at our visiting club as they take the field tonight here in the bottom of the first. They'll look to make it three straight here as they come in on the heels of two straight wins. That last win gets them a step closer to the 500 mark. They can actually reach 500 if they can pull this one out. Here comes a 1-2. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. And I don't think this partisan crowd is going to like that too much. One thing you don't want to do as an opposing pitcher, two things actually. One don't want to get the crowd involved early, and two, don't want to set yourself up for a possible big inning. Now, both of those things have come true. First offering on the way. On the ground is short. This could be two. One there. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. We've played an inning. Still nothing, nothing. Frankie Dawson will try it again. He was hit by a pitch his first time. Frankie Dawson. First pitch coming. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. And sometimes you got to cut down a little stride against a guy who's throwing this hard. Either you take that leg kick completely out of the equation, or you get it started just a little bit quicker. Come set, now the pitch. No, and he's okay. really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Yeah, still a little late with that swing. He's got to get going a little sooner. From the belt, kicks and deals. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. The one-two. Hit hard, but foul toward first, so he'll come back and line it up again. He'll try again, one, two. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here, and it remains one and two. Again, a one, two. Swing, and I believe this one is going to find the seats as well. It does, so quite a battle here as it remains one and two. Now another 1-2. One, 1-2 two. One, two pitch just misses with the fourth ball, and it goes even at 2-2. Two and two. And this is where he gets so tough. He's seen everything you've got, but you've still got to make one more good pitch to get him out. Sets the 2-2 two, two pitch. Runner goes for second. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Another 2-2 two, two offering. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. You have to figure that he's really going to need to keep the walks in check if he's going to have success here. I was thinking the same thing. No free rides. You've got to make these guys earn it. Full count offering on its way. On the ground towards second. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. On now to the top of inning number four. All tied at one and one.
Frankie Dawson will stride in, round it out his last time through. Frankie Dawson. Now here's the first pitch. Runners off for second. Hit swung on and missed the throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. Nothing across here this half. Frankie Dawson will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. first pitch and oh look out up and in and nearly took his head off not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far but it hasn't really mattered yeah I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful now the one and one pitch no offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Here's the two and one pitch. Grounded foul off to the right. Here comes a two two. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Here's the 3-2 pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Three-two, here it comes. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the six. Sometimes this is just what you need. Right. Find out a walk, make that guy throw a few pitches, get him into the stretch. That's where you can finally put him away. Andy Wilkins stand in for the third time now, still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Fork ball is off the plate and in. Ball one. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. The next pitch. Runners on the move for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Throw won't get him. Ready now on one and one. Pitch inside. The throw. Skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. We've already seen the ball's not really traveling all that well here tonight. So both these managers might start thinking, we got to shake it up a little here offensively. So... They turn him loose here, and he's into scoring position with the stolen base. Now ball chopped to the right side. Should get the runner to third. And he's set down one away. Yeah, he might have thought about going to third for just a split second there. But with nobody out, I think the smart decision was to go ahead and take that out at first base. And that's exactly what he did. Alex Rodriguez will dig in. He walked and later scored last time. Here's the first offering. Swung on and lifted in the air to left. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And add a run on the sacrifice fly as that'll make this a 3-1 to game. That's all he's hoping to do right here. Just get that thing airborne and get that first run of the game home. He does his job. Picks up the RBI. Dawson will get his shot now with two on and two out here in inning number seven. First pitch coming. 
swing, and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. And this is knocked down over there. And they'll add one more to the lead. It's now a 5-1 to one ball game. Yeah, tough break there defensively. Two away. Gets the ground ball. He can get out of the end. This ball just wound up in the perfect place. He winds up with an infield single and an RBI. Right-hander starts to loosen out to the bullpen now. Now, here's the first pitch. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Yeah, even with two on and two away, this is not a guy that's going to back down out there. He comes right after him with a fastball, and he gets ahead. From the belt, the pitch. And a foul pop behind the plate. Now the pitch. Too high. One and two. Still now on one and two, you don't have to make the perfect pitch out there. The count is still well in your favor on the mound. Hits are even right now at five aside. Here's the one, two. In the air to straightaway center field. Schmidt is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So two runs on two base hits, one error, and a couple of men left. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Barons are out in front here, five to one. You always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he needed just a little help to get out of that seventh inning, but all in all, that six and two thirds, very strong inning for him on the mound. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Eric Karros and Steve Lyons, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The Barons come out on top, 5-1. to one. Good night, everybody. Fans, our final night score. The music I'm the Harry Frog.